Well, hello, you guys. Are you ready for the tour? Come on over here and let me show you this text that I'm working on. This is, uh, this is the kind of thing that I write my um, scholarly work about. It's a Tibetan text. It's printed by a block print on uh, a particular kind of rice paper that the Tibetans are very fond of. And it looks like a lot of gobbledygook, but actually it's quite understandable. It's a commentary on um, what's called the perfection of wisdom. Come on over here. You know about the Rangdun. I love the teeth, and I especially love the flaming tongue. It's sort of the flaming tongue of a professor. Um, I think of this office as being something like a recycling center for Buddhas. People bring me Buddhas, and I pass them on to other people. And this is an image of the laughing Buddha of the future. This was given to me by a, a Chinese nun from Taiwan. And normally I would pass this on to somebody else, but I keep this around the office because it always reminds me of Jim Jackson. There's something very jolly and very, um, Oh, I don't know, just uh, outrageously engaging, just like Jim Jackson in CC 105. This is, is a famous image of the uh, Indian monk Bodhidharma who brought Zen to Japan. And um, if you want to make a wish, you, you uh, blacken in one of his eyes, make the wish, and if the wish comes true, you blacken the other eye. I haven't figured out yet what to wish for. Here's my Moses action figure that somebody brought me. A little Buddha with a cell phone. He squeaks. The um, photograph is, is pretty important to me, although it's, it's gotten kind of dusty here. Um, here, have a look. Uh, this is a picture that somebody took once um, of me in my younger mode, uh, giving a lecture in a Buddhist temple in Sarnath in India. Uh, it's a temple that the Tibetans built on the site where the Buddha gave his first sermons. There's a story in Buddhism about a guy who um, attacks, he's sort of a Buddhist mass murderer, and he attacks people and steals their fingers. We used to talk about this a lot in my Buddhism courses a few years ago, and some of my students were so sort of excited about this that they made me a Halloween garland of fingers. So let's go over here and take a look at a couple of other things. This is a Zen master's stick that they use to uh, encourage people when they meditate. This image up here is the Bodhisattva Manju Shri. I think of him as being something like the patron saint of scholars. You can see he holds, it actually would be a perfect patron saint for the core curriculum. He holds a book in his left hand and a sword in his right hand. Just tons of stuff, books, videos. This is a, a slightly different kind of artifact, but this is a, a new book that I just published about Buddhist philosophy. This is a slightly weighty tome. <laughs> That's enough for now. There's a ton of other stuff around here that I'd be glad to show you, but uh, I think it's time to get to the film core. It's going to be a great evening, and I'm really looking forward to seeing all the fantastic films that, that you and your classmates have produced. So thanks for coming. Let's get to film core.